like to welcome everybody to our house building series. This is part number four. In this episode, you're going to see how they go about putting the floor on a house that's elevated off the ground. And last of the structural concrete to be poured is going to be the columns that are going to hold the roof up. So I hope you uh, enjoy and find some value in this video. Well, they got all the form stripped. Nice. That is all looking really good. No holes, no rebar showing. Digging it. This is intentionally not poured up the height because there is a difference. Uh, there's a step down going into the bathroom and of course coming out onto the front and the back little porch here. You can actually see one of the standoffs or rebar chair, whatever you want to call it right there. Did its job. Forming up for the porch right there. <laughs> Got supports down there to help hold the weight. What do you think, Z? Yeah? Panning from Anki Kilo. Lou does not, am I? They're not sure how much they weigh, they're just heavy. They have to put a wood perimeter up to form the porch. Piece of clear tubing with water in it. Water seeks its own level. Now we got everything all stubbed out for the plumbing right there. I think you're going to end up bucketing the concrete to the uh, back porch pad right here. Yep. Got a guy going around uh, sealing any of the holes up. Yeah, so that's going to be the bathroom. They poured that first because of the difference in elevations. The bathroom floor is lower than the actual finished floor in the house. Same with the back porch and the front porch. They're all lower than the finished floor inside the house. Um, once they get all these plank in, they'll put a wire mesh down on top of this. And, uh, they're going to pour a topping on it to the top of what you see, that uh, perimeter board right there. Pour up to the top of that. And then they got a chalk line right there. That's the height right there that they got to hit. I'm gonna get the floor poured today. Got her all prepped. I can't wait till the floor is poured. We can walk around up there and kind of lay some stuff out. They poured some little concrete pads up here so that they know the height they need to be. They'll take this screed right here and the screed will go from point A to point B. They can get this semi-flat, but it's funny in Thailand. It's all pretty much left to the guys that do the tile work. You can see the small rebar right there that's embedded in the grade beam. It's now bent over and incorporated in with the uh, wire mesh. Tie everything together real nice. Double ones here in the center going each way. Like the way they tied the wire together here. That way it's not going to shift around on them. Honey, you like up? The bite, my? Yeah. If you guys see anything that you think should be done differently or have any questions about the way things are being done, please leave us a comment. Oh, 
เล็กๆอยู่ตรงนี้มุมนี้ตู้เสื้อผ้าโต๊ะเครื่องแป้งจบเอ่อประตูอยู่ไหนประตูอยู่นี่ประตูอยู่มุมนี้เหรอฟรอนต์ดอร์ระเบียงเล็กนะนี่คือรถไฟไฟฟ้าที่อยู่ตรงนี้เก็บทุกอย่างพร้อมที่จะเพาะคาลัมส์นี่จะเป็นรถไฟฟ้าที่สุดที่เราจะเพาะผมจะแสดงให้ทุกท่านว่าจะเพาะคาลัมส์เมื่อเขาเตรียมที่จะเพาะคาลัมส์นี่คุณสามารถเห็นการแสดงออกหรือรีบาร์เทียร์สอะไรที่คุณจะเรียกมันในไทยเขาเรียกมัน Look, Boon. If you translate that literally, it would be the baby of cement. They got all new center lines everywhere. This thing lined up. Once the bottom's secured, they'll put braces and attach them to these wood blocks up here to get the thing plumb. One thing I really like about this company is they are really detail oriented. They have continually brought the center lines up all the way from the bottom. This guy's got about a half hour left to get everything squared away, and the uh, concrete truck is supposed to be here. Looks like they're going to make it. Quick update on the road situation here. They were in here with a big track hoe, and yes, they did start. They put some uh, drainage tiles in. They tied our ditch in across the road with a drainage tile right there. They took all the old stuff out, and they're going to continue this all the way through to some point. Here comes the boss. Hi, Ann. Whether you're new to our channel or back for more, Help us get to 10,000 subscribers by sharing this video. And we really look forward to seeing you all on the next one.